Two people are dead after a shooting and stabbing in a Northern Virginia home. The man and woman were found this morning on Stable Brook Way in the Herndon area of Fairfax County. News Force Mauricio Casillas is live there tonight. Mauricio, what have you learned? Pat Leon, good afternoon to you. Still a very busy scene hours after police first started investigating. Right behind me, this is the cul-de-sac where the shooting, or where it all took place, the home, I should say, where it all took place is just around the corner. Now, it's important to note Fairfax County police say at this point that there is no active threat to the public. He doesn't know the person that he shot, but he's on the ground. A chaotic morning inside this Fairfax County neighborhood. Police are still working to piece together what exactly happened inside that home. We're working through identifying the person responsible for each because it may not be the same person. Police say there were four adults inside the home when they arrived. The man who was shot, the woman who was stabbed, and two others, one of whom called 911. Police also found a young girl inside. There's a little girl who uh, resides at that home. The little girl is safe and she's with us. Chief Davis has not identified the relationship between all of the people in the home, citing the ongoing investigation. As detectives comb through the scene, neighbors came together, some embracing one another. This neighborhood was always safe. Kids, you know, play on the street. And neighbors have parties together, you know, on the street. It just shocked. Police say they aren't looking for any suspects. The two adults who were unharmed inside the home are in custody, but not facing charges. So whatever occurred inside this home today occurred amongst those, those four occupants, and we're just trying to work out the details, the sequence of these violent acts. And Chief Davis says that at this point, there's no signs of a forced entry, so they, they don't think that this was a case of a home invasion. We just learned moments ago that Chief Davis will be providing an update on this investigation at around 5 this afternoon, so we're going to stick out here. Be sure to bring you that very latest information coming up at News 4 at 5. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. All right, thanks, Mauricio. Make sure you keep us posted.